Okay, going in on a classical game. Let's see how we get on. This is not a training game, this is a proper game for me. So I don't know the player, so I don't know if they're an engine user or if they're a supremo realistic. Let's have a look at them. I can't see them all. Don't look like there's many options on there. Or whether they just don't play on here altogether and they're just a masterful player. That was the wrong move while I'm chit chatting. I don't do that move anymore. I do that. Right. Focus. It's not a training game, it's a proper game. Yeah. Because the reason I don't like this move is because we end up in this ugly looking opening here. Which, if white plays it correctly, black is kind of strangulated for the first part of the game. <clears throat> and they're down a pawn and their position doesn't look good so I really don't like this position at all it's rubbish for black so I, I have been practicing just bringing the bishop here so then it stops the knight from coming here because we'd just take it if he did so it is ugly there's not many people that do know how to work it though which is a blessing you know because bringing the queen into the game and stuff then gives you a little bit more of an in and um, so I'm going to take here hope I'm hoping I can get this because he's blocked so the Queen's probably going to come and defend but then the Bishop will take the Queen so fingers crossed oh and he's moved the Knight so there must be something in there for us I'm sure they've lost a bit of tempo somehow Okay, so let's just calm down. Knight could attack the bishop again, but I don't really want to do that. And could just sacrifice my bishop here. Don't want it to look good for them in the end of it. So let's just move it here because we can go and castle. So we've got the pawn back. Now, now we're in unfamiliar territory because my nobody's played like this against me in this type of opening, and I like it when when it's something fresh and new because you have to use your chess brain. So it's obviously coming down, maybe coming here. We could still challenge the bishop, see what he wants to do. So obviously it's going back, but is that a good place for my knight? Where else am I going? I think we're just going to go and castle, keeping it safe, we're not getting fancy. Bishop for a bishop, develops his knight, so his knight comes out here. We could then still go and attack the bishop again, but I'm kind of liking the bishop stopping this pawn from pushing in the centre at the moment. Could come this way and we're attacking this pawn, so then his bishop has, well, doesn't have to, but they potentially would do that. So let's go and attack the bishop and attack the pawn. So we're attacking two pieces. It's almost saying take your bishop all the way back to protect the pawn. Like I say, he doesn't have to do that. Or she, whoever. Don't want to over expand too much. Knight's on the rim here. Um, don't really need it there anymore because the bishop's moved. And it is a long play game, it's a 45 minute and 10 second game, so I don't need to rush anything. It's just we've seen these positions at the minute, which have been, well, they look more favourable for us, but there's no guarantees of anything. The opponent could do like the rope or dope type thing, and this is new to me, this is a new position for me, so... You have to box clever, and use the chess knowledge. So they've castled so saved themselves that so we can just take the bishop off the board doubling the pawns and also taking this pawn as well with the queen i don't need to move so fast because i could be jumping into a a, a, a trap so I'll come here then we're attacking the knight that looks pretty obvious and then if knight's coming here that doesn't look too meaty but then our bishop our bishop won't have a protector so we may as well take the bishop off the board it's a good job we took our time didn't we so now we can take the pawn 
is there anything else got space for the knight to come back here so now we can take the pawn that's the difference between the long play thinking because I would have just gone straight for the pawn and then my bishop would have been taken off the board okay so still not comfortable with the position feels got the queen stuck in the middle of the board and now the knight is attacking the queen is there a reversal that we can do could always just bring the queen right back where to where it started or the opposite their king because we have that cheap little looking thing here so we may as well go for that his knight potentially looking here still got space for our knight to move pawns probably coming down down onto it hmm interesting so at least now we're trying to sort of get some pieces towards the king area even if it is cheap but you know hey sometimes the cheap stuff works so what's the what's the opponent actually got could always bring his knight down attack the pawn here comes down he still attacks the rook condensing my rook in a little bit so he's actually moved the king okay So if we push this pawn onto his knight, where's his knight going? His knight probably goes back attacking this pawn. We then bring the bishop here, still targeting, but then he's got the rook that's going to come facing our queen. But we're giving them things to think about, aren't we? And plus we're making space for our bishop. Is there anything else? Yeah, let's attack the knight, keep it simple. So he's coming for the pawn. So maybe we just develop the rook, keep it simple, or push the pawn onto the knight. But then if we do that, his knight can come and attack our queen. Hmm. It's gone right into the corner. Just bring the bishop here anyway. We know the rook's going to defend, but they might not. They might forget these cheap things sometimes work. <laughs> he's blocked it off okay maybe not today then so we need to get our knight I think into the game get it into the center of the board he's got his knight chomping at the bit to come for this pawn I suppose um, what else is there got the rook facing off their king queen should we do that first instead of dancing the knight yeah let's just face off the queen half open file so there's nothing clear here at all I have sights of this this but that might get blocked off with his knight moves if he does any he's got both his knights on the rim now now he hasn't so like we said do, 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 do. I think we can continue with the movement very shady if we move we lose the pawn so we're probably gonna have to attack but he's also attacking this pawn here as well could defend it by bringing the rook here don't really want a rook defending a pawn if we bring the rook up also it allows us potentially to double up on the pawn here so it sounds like a plan I think we'll go with that and we'll just sit back on the knight moving now <clears throat> so the only thing now I can see is at some stage but not just yet so it might be a small pawn move first to make space for maybe one of the rooks bringing his queen off getting one of the rooks behind and then getting the rook there then getting the rook there it's a very slow process but 
that's probably the type of thing they're going to be looking for. Can't see anything else really. This portal stuck in the sense is supported by the knight, so it's probably they're looking at challenging this. Maybe I don't know. So the calculation side of things is the if buts and maybes. That's where I, I'm. I'm allowing myself to go. Yeah, if but maybe so. But when it comes to my moves, I've got to negate that now. I've got to say right. Out of all of the creative thinking and the logical thinking, I've got to then bring it down to what is better. What is the best move that you can pull out of your toolbox? Not a shoulda, woulda, coulda. None of those. We would have worked out all of those, hopefully through our calculation. And then the move I make is the better move. I've got to start building that into my mental roller decks. My opponent's going to a deep thing. I mean, it's it's anybody's. I mean, was it plus one at the minute? But that, you know, towards the end game that really counts. But when you're sort of stuck in the middle type thing, it can change just like that. Because you have to have a, oh, so his knight's blocking our pawn, but not really. So he's going for a whirlwind of some sort. Where can it go? can go here, these are the squares it can go to, these are the squares it can go to, it can't go there, it can always go back again. It's defending this pawn. Yeah, it's defending the pawn because we're looking to double. So in the meantime, we could do this, but are we sending this other knight into a square we don't want? Maybe it's going here, replicating. Do have a gentle touch on, on the knight to say well what you're doing white square putting a diagonal onto the king got to be careful of that but that's not not immediate so our nice to have this one this one which is then unreleasing protection for the king but this one is supporting the pawn that is attacking here and um, defending there he does have this rook that can defend anyway, so he's got three on there. So if we go here, then obviously this rook may come down just to triply protect it. I think it's a waiting game of some sort, so... Do I put my king in danger? Not just yet. Let's just see what this knight wants to do first. So we, we have that option there, we have the option to come here, but let's sort the bed out first. That feels like a better move, plus it's challenging this pawn, so if our rook has to move for any reason, I'm just having a look to see if the knight's got a secret stealth move, then it's not grabbing a pawn for free. This one was defending, this one is attacking, so let's get rid of this one first. He might not want to block this way because maybe this knight is deciding that he's going to have to come back that way. Because if that's blocked and then if we push onto the knight, he's going to have to... Well, he doesn't have to go there. I suppose he could go here, couldn't he? But if he goes there, he's blocking his rook from actually defending the pawn, which would be nice for us. Ah, he's moved it. Yes, yeah, so he's not moved it to this square because obviously if it's challenged. So we could challenge it now and see if he does actually go back there. I don't think he will though, because he's, that's his secondary support for when we double up. But let's go for it anyway, let's attack. I'm hoping he goes there and then we can at least double up, put a bit of pressure on this pawn. stupid are they so it's gone to a position where it's kind of challenging me to attack again so that then he can come back and defend the palm you have to be mindful of those sort of moves sometimes if you don't want it to happen don't do it you know 
so we could look to pressure onto the pawn, he could always push down. But then at least his knight's not defending the pawn here, and we've got a highly developed pawn at the top, so then we could look to then do the attack. Obviously the rook is going to come and defend. But if he takes, and then we take, then his knight takes, so he gets two pawns for free, so that's where the problem lies. So tempting to just push on to the knight. I'm going to leave that position. Is it time for this knight to jump in just yet? There's nothing really for it. It's not defending this square either. He knows this is coming, the rook's coming down. The rook comes down. I do have a white square bishop. If the rook comes down. Knight comes up. Hmm. Let's just play the card. Play the card first. See what he does. He might not do that. <laughs> you know, it could happen. I might be overthinking the situation. Yes, and they do come down. Okay, so they do know. Alright, so we're building up pressure slowly, a bit at a time. I think if we had something defending this square, something like the Queen, then we could push onto the pawn. Doesn't have to take like we say though. White square bishop feeling a bit, a little bit redundant. I was thinking of bringing the knight up here. But it doesn't really have anything devastating, it just looks like it's doing something, but it's not really, it's not attacking anything. It's not really defending anything. Ideas of support, but it's not really supporting this nice guard in this area. So it doesn't look too good a position. Maybe if we bring the knight here, supporting this pawn. Out to come back in, coming up here. That looks, no, yeah, well that looks a little bit better because then um, we have potential for something. But it's all hidden. Not forgetting he's got his own knight. Up. And up, attacking the rook. Now that's a position I can live with. Let's go here. I thought the knight needed to be doing something. Again, it can squeeze here. This pawn doesn't have any protection on. So the showdown of these pawns, I'm gonna have to get my queen defending somehow. But if he gets to double up as well himself, then we've got issues. heating on it's kind of cold
Oh, we're still waiting for them to move. Cracky. <laughs> A big thing or or not have they moved oh no they've moved okay so they've moved to the position that i have the arrow so they're cha challenging this pawn we do have the bishop that's defending this area so if we went here because he's doing it trying to do the preventative thing you know which was our knight was coming to attack but we could still bring the knight there to defend the pawn but I'm thinking if we're being proactive if we push if they took then we took if the knight decided to take our bishop could take quite freely yeah push doesn't have to take like we say could just push down doesn't have to do anything that I'm saying Got to remember that. Um, captures. We capture. I don't see why the knight is going to capture, but if it did, bishop takes and then the queen supporting. So let's push. I don't really see any other continuation, unless, of course, this knight's going to come in and do some magic. It's attacking you know, something. It does take, okay, so we capture, are we missing, did I miss something from that calculation? Let me get here. Maybe the queen comes across. the queen comes across though we don't go and attack the queen don't we I feel like I've missed something hmm so they're looking they really want to get this rook into the game as well don't they they feel a little bit jammed in the queen's protecting a pawn the rook's protecting a pawn it's not really what they're designed to do but can they find a secret stealth move towards my king that i've not seen <laughs> yes the knight moved the knight wants to get into the game so I didn't really have a continuation of sorts um, Okay, what does he want to do? He wants to get further involved in the game, doesn't he? He's got a nice little fork here on our queen and the rook. So it could elevate the rook to capture it if he does do that. Or could move the queen to be a bit... Or here. Or here. Does he have a reversal of sorts? Actually putting more pressure on the pawn and come in here. No, I think that's the thing, is that he's coming for this, isn't he? So I need to find the better the better queen move. I think it is the queen move because I think we're enjoying this pressure we've got on the pawn at the minute up here. Is there a way of tripling up on that pressure? There isn't there because I could go here and that's tripling up the pressure on here. Because I'm sure we can do this. Obviously, he'll come and attack our bishop. Hmm. I think. 
but then that's the problem isn't it I move the queen off of there then he's got the two on one on the pawn with the rook and the knight maybe we could push the pawn up and if he takes then we take his queen with the rook oh no he's got the knight what am I doing what am I talking about that knight is so crucial isn't it if we push the knight just takes the pawn Ooh, knight just takes the pawn, is there a space? Bishop's still targeting here. If we got rid of this knight, we'd be able to do... No, we wouldn't have looked still there. Um, okay, so he's brought his knight in. We know his knight's coming here for the rook, so we may as well... Ah, I'm going to have to just bring it here then to keep defending this. I don't think that's right. If I don't think it's right, why am I doing it? Because I'm facing the rook. If I'm facing the rook, then he can just push his pawn down. But if he pushes the pawn down, the rooks can take. We've got the knight there as well. Don't think we need to worry too much. Let's go here then. How am I going to do I might have to lose this pawn. If we can't get this pressure here because his knight's there his knight's blocked that might have he moved there real quick I instantly went up to myself I think that was a mistake but I don't know if it is or not because we've got the two pieces haven't we but if we take that's my piece what am I about if I take <laughs> <laughs> getting carried away okay let's go here with the knight getting it closer in obviously the rook is there attacking the queen what's his roundabout no let's do that is he looking I don't know these dancing knights I love knights but I hate knights when they're used really good against you it's like whoa where did that come from so on about the same time 35 minutes each but it's not this isn't clear at all I just feel we're pressuring but I don't want to over press and then the opponent finds a back end attack that I haven't defended so I'm really focused on what it is that they can try and do throughout this match they've been babysitting this poor pawn so I think they're trying to release some tension they're wanting this rook to get into the game but we've blocked it for a moment for there so he might come here to come here to come here to feel like he's alive a little bit our bishop really is like, well, it's defending a pawn, it's not really in the game, which is not too clever, really. Mm -hmm. How are we continuing from here? He's got the pieces in the right places. As far as I can see, the knights, they're there. All on the king's side. He's got his rooks on the king's side. His queen on the king's side. He probably just wants this other rook to get in the game to defend his king area. But now he's moving the queen. I do have that just as a momentary thing. He's gonna have three on. He's gonna have three on one. Because he's going to move this knight and then he's going to be attacking our pawn. There must be something with, with our knight. We can swing through here and attack the rook. It's probably better attacking the rook because we're getting closer towards the king area. Does that make sense to me? It does make sense to me. And we've still got the two on one here. So his rook's going to have to move, but his rook's just going to move here. Attacking the knight. <laughs> so we could push the pawn just to defend it but it's still giving him space to bring his rook here to defend damn so 
maybe we don't do that just yet. Just hang fire, do we? Let him get his other rook here. Hmm. There must be something better. Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. I didn't really want to do that one either, but. Do, 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 do. Could push this to then get a stealth attack on the rook. But his rook's just going to be here, isn't it? Hmm. What is the better move? Smaller piece attacking a higher piece, usually the queen. Can't see a problem with that. Well, I can, because he's just going to move there. I don't really want to do a wasted move, but then if he moves there, then we go back again here. So maybe he's not going to go there, maybe he drops there. All right? Okay, so we attack. So he doesn't, he just drops here. If he drops there, he's only got one piece on that. Well, he's got two actually, don't forget. Um, he's on a dark square. Attack the queen. No. Oh no, he can't go there because I'll take him, won't I, with my queen? Oh no, I won't because he's on a dark square. Um. Hmm. <laughs> options, options, options. I think there he just moves to the side. Go back again. He moves back again. Ah, but if we move this, he's still going to have that rook there. If we move this pawn up, can his knights get my king, queen? Move this pawn up in readiness for the bishop. Yeah, I'm going to move that. I think his rook's moving there, so if we attack here, then his rook goes there. Then the bishop can come here when he moves back again. So then he goes back, but then he's still got the other rook defending the pawn. So we've not really made much in row, but at least we're trying to get our pieces into the game. Because the bishop was really doing nothing. But he's still going to have, don't forget, the 2 on 1 with his queen and his knight. But he's moved the queen anyway. He's going for the exchange. Man, why is he going for the exchange? He's going to have a pawn here. He's got this link pawn there. I'm surprised he's gone for the exchange actually. Or maybe the knight's taken. And then he's going to have like a two on one. Yeah, the knight's going to take. And then he's going to have a two on one on the pawn. Ah. Yeah. Very clever. So with his queen being there. I can't get it for free, can I? Takes. Knight takes. Rook and the pawn. There. Bring the knight across, attacking the rook. If the rook takes, we take the rook off the board with the bishop. It's not going to do that. So he'll move back again. But then obviously he's only got two on one on this pawn anyway. So I'm going to take and see how the land lies. Because the two rooks that we've got that have been chomping up the bit for this pawn. be able to do something shouldn't they so it does take so then the knight comes here like we said winning a bit of oh the knight's in the way of the bishop knight's in the way of the bishop it's blocking it so if we come here with the bishop still protecting this so the knight's gonna take and now the knight's defending this pawn oh hurt me so we go here, his rook just comes across attacking the knight. Oh, well, that's a horse of a different colour, isn't it? Attacking the knight, I'm scouring for other areas to move to, or oh, what shall we change? 
what shall we change we need to change something he's got a 2 on 1 here I could move a rook to defend that's could attack his knight but then we lose a pawn here <laughs> it's about not being greedy I'm a pawn up so I don't really need to be getting too worked up about it it's just you know it's quite nice to try and keep the advantage and it's not a training game so I've got to find the better knight attacking smaller piece attacking a higher piece instantly springs to mind but it's just the defensible rationale is the rook is going to come here it's on the knight so in my head I'm going to go back again and attack so what does he do with his rook is he, is he going to keep going backwards and forwards because he wants to protect the pawn or does he move it out of the way and then bring the other rook in to defend defending there that's not a, a shocker let's go for that it's only one move ahead that's it I can't. depends what he does if he doesn't go back then we can not even bother taking the pawn because the knight is defending so we need to bring this bishop here get this knight off the board it's a longer term move but we were going to use that diagonal to be attacking the rook so if we're doing this um, drawish type dance and if I end up back here just bring the bishop here attacking the knight see what happens from there that's what I think I'm hoping they forget themselves you see in the take and they don't see the ninja bishop here so then we can just whip it off the board and let's get using the advantage but they're taking so long with the thinking they're not it looks it don't look like they're gonna miss this type of stuff oh. It's moved okay so is it the merry dance or am I falling into something king here knight down no let's just move back with the knight yep so they have moved so I'm gonna bring the bishop here like this so the draw dance was being played so we could have gone for a draw and hoping we're not going to rue the day that we didn't go for the draw <laughs> Ah, oh, the one of the problems we've got is oh, I've just seen it. I've just seen it. Oh, his rook could have taken. I think his rook. Well, it don't make a difference, does it? So we take the knight. Oh yeah, that messed up. <laughs> oh, dear me. That got messed up. I think it would have been worse. I think if he'd have taken with. He's still got the knight protecting the pawn, you see. And we were trying to do that to negate him having this support of the pawn. But he's still got the support and now he's got the pawn back as well. So yeah, we messed that up. Oh. Okay, so now we have to knuckle down now. He's got two centre pawns. 
and one split pawn on the far side. We're on his rook at the moment, but we're on, we're kind of giving him an open file here. And he, he still wants to keep the pawn. He wants to keep his rook there, I think. But I suppose in a way he doesn't need to now. He doesn't need to now because he's got the knight there, so our rooks aren't going to take the pawn because the, the knight is there, so he doesn't need to keep it there anymore. Hmm. Just go back here, and I've got nothing that I can attack the knight with. Ah, oh, the bishop move was the wrong move. I should have kept a little bit more tension and figured something else out. Oh, kicking myself now. I don't know what, but That allowed him to get the pawn back and I didn't actually see that continuation. Tunnel vision. There's nothing happy-ish I can do, I don't think, apart from attacking his knight here. Again, trying to put that pressure onto the pawn. He's come away from the pawn, but like I said, he doesn't need to, so I'm going to attack the knight He's still going to have time to bring his rook here to defend, but because he's brought this one back, <clears throat> he's like, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, if the knight takes, pawn takes, he has to bring one rook to defend, and then we can take the pawn off. Yep, so we capture, and then one of the rooks has to go and defend, but then they lose the pawn. But look at the scrappiness of our pawns here. So he could even just come down here and just get two pawns. <coughs> problem he's got is if we get this pawn because his king's stuck in the back he has to think about giving it a flight square might not be a big problem to them they may work out a tempo thing swings this back yeah the I'm hoping fingers crossed his rooks aren't best placed now after all of this yes it's quite tasty coming down for these but if we get this then maybe he gives his king a fly square then we get that rook comes off rook comes off he's given oh he's going for it okay let's take here he's got sights of this yeah he's got sights of that definitely without a shadow of a doubt we've got shot sights of um, the back rank checkmate type thing but I don't think it's gonna happen but I'm going to give it a try. He's hunting these pawns. If we can get up here and start slamming him a little bit, maybe. Yep, so he's going greedy for the pawns. Let's try and get to the back. It's not a back ranker, but hopefully it gets them thinking about. And now he's just defended. Okay, so I'm going to go here. So he's going to grab our pawn. Yep, okay and maybe go shooting up a bit now and then keep that rook on the inside maybe come and put pressure on this one here moving a bit fast now actually I can smell it but we're equal again but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, positionally, we're not doing too bad because this rook is kind of forced at this moment to defend his king. So he's only got one rook in play. He'll be looking to ramp this one down as best possible with a few checks on my king with his rook. And maybe, just maybe, if we get here, and then we can start ramping ours up. But he's going to probably need to get his king into this little gap. There's a lot of things going on. So he's gone down with the king stuff. So, oh, look what his rook can do. His rook's going to put a check on me. This one here. It's going to be condensing me in. And then this is going to put a check on. Ooh. Interesting times. Yeah. Check. Now, do I go this way or do I go that way? If I go here, he's still going to put a check on me here. 
and if I go up well I suppose you can put another check on and then it's up and down up and down or if I go this way he puts a check on then I go this way to attack him then he's not putting any more checks on this rook can't put a check on I'm gonna go this way this rook can put a check on obviously So I think that way was a bit too submissive and plus he's got these pawns that potentially could get me checkmated. But I'm hoping the more they dance attacking me, putting checks on me the less space they're going to have to manoeuvre to actually get this promoted and their king hopefully gets squished by our rooks. Enough times that this pawn maybe gets a promotion. That's the story I'm seeing here at the minute, just from the placement of the rooks. So he's gone back again. Um, we could go and attack his rook. Could attack his rook. His rook has to go somewhere else, doesn't it? Uh, it's probably going to come and attack these pawns here. And could let just leave it there, couldn't we? Okay, let's attack the rook. Don't overcomplicate it. It's swinging over and attacking these. probably attack this one because it's facing our king not done okay so we could do the chase in the rook situation so it goes up and we're closer to his pawn or we just push our pawn up oh do you know what he's doing oh, what am i doing hold on he's wanting to go here like this with a check on my king so then my rook takes his pawn takes but then our rook can come here but then his rook can go to the far side so that's what he's wanting to do okay so if I move back here, his rook's just going to put another check on me. So if I go there, do I need to be worried about that too much? I'm just pushing the pawn. I don't, I don't think it's too major, even if we have one rook on the board each. I don't think. Yeah, yeah, that's what we said. Let's go here. Let me just go here. This king's got three or four moves to actually come towards getting the pawn. So that's why I thought, well, I don't think it's going to be a big problem for us because we're going to have an extra pawn on the far side. Could still be a draw, but we'll see. Let's go and get this pawn. And grab this. So now it's going to chase down my rook. So if we just move it across, getting notifications. <laughs> so what's the science now? Obviously, he's coming here. So then we're, whoops, we're going there. Then he's going to still go there. Then maybe I go here. And then his rook wants to go right. I've had enough of that. I'm going to swing all the way around here. And I'm going to take these pawns off. If it does that, 
we push up because the king is protecting the rook the rook goes well I don't think so so I'll have to come back and then the rook goes up oh ok fair enough he's done all that working out as well so if I go up here yeah so he comes down for the rook I come all the way across here His king can't actually come down for the pawn, you know, to do a two on one thing. So he's going to have to make his way all the way back, but by then we could have taken the pawn with a check on the king. Interesting. Let's just move this up here. I can lose these. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. I'm trying to sound all knowledgeable and everything, but I can lose these quite easily. So he goes here. We go there. He goes, oh no, that's not a good thing for me. But he can't drop down, so he has to drop back again. So maybe he goes back there. So I can't take this pawn. So maybe I don't move so far, but yeah. If he comes here, maybe I don't move to that pawn because then my king can maybe come and get that pawn. So maybe just move to here. It's not far enough though, is it? Because his king can just come across to attack it. That's why we wanted to go all the way over there. Hmm. He attacks. We can do that with a check on the king king moves up because he still wants to be near the rook and then we can't push the pawn up because obviously the king will take yeah so that's not a good one yeah that's not a good one they haven't moved have they? no their clock is still moving there right, okay getting carried away with stuff so if they go there, we're definitely not doing that because all they do is that and then we can't support them. Oh, what's happened? He's defending his pawn. He's not really defending the pawn, he's coming here as well, but we've still got all that stuff. No point doing that because he just comes here. But if he does go there, then we just bring the um, rug down with a check if his rook takes then the pawn takes king takes and then we can go over here and take these pawns but is that a winner because you can lose out can't you with all the fancy stuff we go there he has to move off of that rank even if he wasn't coming to attack the rook but he'd come here rook comes down with a check on the king, you'd think the rook would take, pawn would take, king would take. So the king is here. Right? So if I then go one, his king comes across. I go two, his king comes across. Capture, king comes across. Capture, king comes across. So he's in that area there where he could get like a draw. I don't like them apples. I don't like them apples. But because we've got two pawns, I think it's worse if there's one pawn, this pawn here going up, then it's definitely a draw. But can he get a Zugzwang type stalemate? I don't think he can. I think I'm going for it. Let's go. I think I'm going for it. I'm having the confidence in my belief because we're going to have three pieces against the king coming up. He's going to try and hide himself into the corner, but I think there's a way of getting this pawn promoted if we play it right. Fingers crossed we play this end game right. 
I'm gonna be so gutted. Spend all this time and then on the end game I mess up. Yeah, so he's down, so we come here. Grabs, grabs. And then we're off. Let's see if this is going to work. Should do, I don't think there's a big issue. Grab, 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 grab. This king's not gone the way I thought. I thought it was going to stay at the top here. Uh, ooh, it's an interesting situation though, isn't it? We go up. Now, I've got to focus here. Go up. He's going in front of my pawn No, What's all that about? If I go here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go here. Delicate operation. At least one of them can go shooting up. I'm wanting this one really, but I don't care if it's the far one. He has to make a decision. Does he go back or does he come down and try and he's come down to challenge? And I think this one is ramping home now. Yes, we got it right. I did think their king was coming across the top though, that would have probably made it more difficult for us. But it's still, I think it was doable. There's nothing they can do now, they can, yes, so they've resigned. Whoosh! That was a very interesting game. Good practice session, that well, wasn't even a practice session, that was a proper game, wasn't it, 45. And, oh, it's training time. It's at four, 20 minutes past four, so we're sort of like, kind of halfway through the blitzy arena I might take a break though because that was a very long game really interested in that and yeah I like the breakdown of how we developed our pieces and the pressure in the middle of the game now I'm going to look at the analysis of the game just to make sure and just to see if what we were doing was okay or not let's stick on this old bar here and let's see how we get on Yeah, wait. <laughs> that's because we were monologuing and narrating at the beginning. I do not like this opening, especially when they do this. Um, let's see what the gauge bar is showing. Okay, so we're attack. We know how to defend against it. It's just that, to me, it's more advantageous for white if they play it properly. Um, the opponent didn't, and they blocked with their bishop. Blocked this centre pawn. Gauge bars in our favour, which is quite good. So we grab the pawn, looking to grab the knight, and castled, just feeling happy about that. Knights on the bishops, so that seemed okay. Gauge bar's killing, killing for us at the minute. I just want to see this centre pawn situation. So we grabbed. If, is there any major dips? That's what I'm looking for. Looking for sort of the major dips so that I can improve even more. Let's see, so we're coming through, smaller piece attacking a higher piece, it's fairly comfortable with that, still keeping that pressure on the pawn, nothing heavy, there must be something at some point when we lose the pawns, well the pawn, you know when they get it back, must be, it's not dipping too heavily, I thought it was around here. Ah, even when we did the bishop move, it didn't dip that far down, so we didn't need to get twisted. Interesting. Yeah, so we carried on, putting the checks. Ah, doesn't like that. Right, 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 right. Let's go back. So it doesn't like that. It wants the rook to come here to attack the knight. You see, that's a good way of looking at that, because I wouldn't have said that that was unprotected. <laughs> And it is unprotected. In fact, I probably did say it's unprotected, but obviously the rook could come and defend. But I've got a knight here defending, but I'm panicking, thinking, well, the knight's not doing that. So it needs to go and attack their knight. Oh, oh that's a big one. Yeah, I'm, for some reason, I, I must have thought that that was protected, or it was going to be protected, and it wasn't worthwhile. I was so focused on just attacking the knight with the knight. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that put it down to almost like a drawish type thing. Yeah. Okay. But I was fairly happy. Um, worked out in my own head. Well, if, if X, Y, and Z happens with the captures, we can start putting pressure towards them. Especially towards the end game. I mean, they had a nice clever move here. Still showing it's minus 0.9 for us. So that glimmer of hope was there. And that's the glimmer of hope that I was holding on to. So we attack and just push through now. And yeah, at this point here, even the gauge bar showing, yeah, you should really be okay here. But you still have to box clever because you have to get your tempos right. It didn't drop too far with that particular movement. Yeah, and plain sailing after that. Yep, enjoyed that game. Nice brain burner.